Thanks for tuning in and welcome to Vost Videos 2.0. We really appreciate everybody tuning in to our previous videos and we got a much better response out of them than we thought. So we decided to kick it up a bit and get it a little better quality for you guys. We're going to cover a much broader range of subjects and uh, hopefully everybody gets something out of it. So we're going to start with our original video, Putty for CMS. So let's get started. Avaya provides terminal emulator for the CMS, which is a tolerable application, but I personally don't use it. The primary reason for that is, is I constantly have to update the application to follow the CMS release that I have. It just doesn't make much sense to me. I already have PuTTY installed, I use it for a bunch of other servers, so why not just use it for the CMS? What the problem is with PuTTY is when you go to use it, you find that you try to hit those function keys that CMS requires and you get a bunch of stuff on your screen you don't expect and it's not closing your windows. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with getting connected with PuTTY. There's one thing you want to make sure that you do, and that's especially important if you have a Solaris box. So we're going to stop right here, and I'm going to show you that we need to select under Terminal, we need to select to have that backspace key set to Control H. That's going to be important because if you're connected to a Solaris box, you want that backspace key to work. Especially for me, I don't type that well, I have a lot of mistakes. That's going to be required. For those Linux boxes, it's not important. It doesn't cause it an issue. So I normally just keep it there anyways, but the backspace key works just fine. Now that we have that set, let's go ahead and go back to session, put in our IP address, and I recommend saving it because it's kind of a tedious task to set that every single time. So we're going to give ours a name of CMS, and then we're just going to hit save, and then we're going to press OK and get connected. OK, so we're going to log in as per usual, but when it asks for your terminal type, we're going to say Xterm. This is very important. You don't want to use the 605 or 615 that you're used to in Terminal Emulator. You're going to have some weird issues. Once you're in the CMS main menu, your up and down arrow keys are going to work exactly like they did before. Your inner is also going to take you to the sidebar exactly like it did before. What we're going to have a problem with with PuTTY is when we have a window that we need to close, that F key is not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to press Control P and then release and then press the number. So you'll see a little video right here that's going to show you how to do that. It's tedious at first, I do understand that, but it becomes a habit very, very quickly. So all you want to do is if you're going to press F5, it's Control P5. If you're going to press F3, it's Control P3. For those of you who use PuTTY to get into your CM as well, little tip here. When you're logging in the first time, you're going to use Xterm as your terminal type. When you type AutoSat, use Sun T. That's going to bring you in you're going to be great, your F keys are going to work fine, and you can do everything you need to do in there. Good luck, and thank you for tuning in.